Mr. Broken Hungry Records. That's an amazing, just fantastic uh, name for a record label. So uh, let's say hello to Jeff Conkle. Are you on the line? I am. How are you? We're doing good here, and uh, we're really looking forward to your visit here in uh, Israel next week. And uh, you're bringing with you Elsie Ulmer. Are you bringing anybody else with you? Uh, my my wife is going to tag along for the trip, but uh, Elsie is the only blues artist we're bringing along. Okay, great, great. And uh, give me a, give us a little bit of background. Uh, what do you remember about the first time that uh, Yamit Hagal, the producer of this show, uh, approached you? Well, uh, uh, Yamit has been a, uh, uh, she was a, a customer of Broken Hungry Records for several years, and we established a relationship online. She'd, you know, send questions about artists we worked with, and then, uh, I, I guess it would have been early 2012, she reached out to me about Robert Belfour. She knew that I had done some work with Robert, and had included him in a movie that we did uh, in 2008, it was called M for Mississippi. And she reached out to me to find out if uh, Robert was still touring and if I could help uh, get him to Israel. So that sort of started the ball rolling. And uh, from there, we, we uh, spoke about getting some of our films shown in Israel. And then uh, now we're, we're bringing Elsie Ulmer, so we're very excited. You weren't a little skeptical about someone from Israel uh, approaching you, something so far away and such a possibly small audience? You know, I'm I'm no longer surprised uh, when I hear from folks all around the world uh, about this music. Um, we've, you know, in the in the seven plus years that I've been uh, running Broken Hungry Records, uh, I've heard from so many people from all around the world who are touched by this music. So I'm never really surprised anymore. Um, I was very excited to open up. Um, uh, a new relationship with folks in Israel because it is uh, it is a part of the world that we haven't been able to bring artists in the past. Um, so that that was very exciting. Um, but I, I don't know that I was surprised. I was uh, uh, very happy about it, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, we have had some artists from Mississippi in the past. Jack Johnson was here about 14 or 15 years ago when a certain club in Tel Aviv was bringing artists over on, at the rate of once every two months. But, mm -hmm. but I think that that's the only real Mississippi artist that's been here uh, over the last 20 years. So uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your partnership with uh, Roger Stahl and uh, the, uh, I forget the name, is it Cat, Cathead Records, Cathead Productions? Right, he has, that, uh, he, has a, he has a retail store in Clarkdale, Mississippi that's called Cathead Delta Blues and Folk Art. And uh, Roger and I have been friends for many years, and we each have our own operations. I run my label, Broken Hungry Records, do a lot of recordings with uh, traditional blues artists from around the Delta and the Hill Country. Roger has done some recording work with uh, the artist Big George Brock. Right. Of course, he's been in instrumental in a number of other very important uh, Delta Blues activities. He's the founder of Duke Joint Festival, among other things. Um, so as friends, we would just kind of wander the highways and byways of Mississippi, uh, checking out artists that we didn't know and discovering new new venues and new musicians. And uh, from that friendship, we started collaborating. And our, our first real project together was the film M for Mississippi, which we produced in 2008. Which won a lot of uh, awards already, right? It did. We were uh, very humbled by the uh, response that the film uh, received. Um, it won a Blues Music Award uh, in 2009 and, and several other awards, and we've been just really gratified to see so many people uh, interested in in this music. So uh, that led to future collaborations. Our most recent film, We Duke Up In Here. Right, and you're going to be doing a premiere of that here in Israel, uh, at least a European or Middle Eastern premiere, right? Exactly, exactly. We've shown it a few places in in, um, in mainland Europe. Uh, we uh, took the film to Geneva, Switzerland last year, but this will be uh, its Israeli premiere. We're going to have a screening in, uh, uh, in the desert. And then we'll do another screening uh, in Tel Aviv. So uh, two, two, two showings of the movie, and we hope people enjoy it. Great, great. Uh, you know, the reason I was asking about your association with Rogers is because uh, 
I've been receiving Roger's uh, emails for many, many years and, and recordings from him and whatnot. And I know that he's based in Clarksdale, but I looked at the map and I saw that you're in St. Louis and that's almost a six hour drive away. So that, doesn't that make it a little bit hard to uh, be in touch all the time? It is difficult, but the, you know, the, the vast majority of the, you know, the infrastructure work that we have to do, we're able to do that online or by phone. Um, and then for our projects themselves, it does require a lot of commuting. I'm down in the Delta, uh, at least once a month for various projects or festivals and filming and recording projects. Um, so Roger actually has St. Louis roots too. Uh, I live in St. Louis, Missouri, and he uh, he spent seven or eight years living here back in the 90s. Uh, we didn't actually know each other at the time. We crossed paths at different shows, but we didn't we didn't realize it until later. Um, so our friendship has really developed over the last decade since he's been in Clarksdale. I see. And uh, you seem to focus on on artists that, that he focuses on, which are sort of. Uh, rural uh, Mississippi-based artists that are mostly under the radar in terms of the the general uh, blues community, right? Yeah, that's that's exactly right. We both have a, a wide love of different styles of blues, um, but we our, our collective mission uh, is to promote those um, those Delta blues artists who the rest of the world may not know. Uh, or who have been quiet for some time. So an artist like Robert Belfour, who had two of the greatest records of, of um, modern blues uh, on Fat Possum Records. You know, he hasn't recorded in quite a while, so we included him in our film, M for Mississippi. Um, other artists, uh, like the late, great T-Model Ford, uh, who just passed away uh, last month. Uh, we worked with him on a couple of projects. So we're trying to bring uh, attention to artists that you may not have heard of or who you haven't heard from in a while. Right, right. Well, that's great. That's uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, meeting you, whether I get down to the desert or I meet you up in Tel Aviv area, then uh, I'm really looking forward to finally meeting you because uh, we've been in touch before. You may not realize it, but I'm also the president of the Israel Blue Society and... Uh, and they used to do all kinds of uh, promotion uh, around the country of uh, of blues shows. So it's uh, really good to talk to you. And uh, and uh, have a safe trip, you and Elsie. And uh, we really, really are excited to uh, to have this mission coming to Israel. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Israel is going to love Elsie Ulmer. He is. Truly, truly one of the great living bluesmen. Uh, just uh, uh, an artist like you've probably never seen live, uh, 84 years old, but still willing to get up and dance on one foot across the stage. Play yeah, the I love the dancing. Act. I love the dancing I've seen in videos. He's really uh, interesting in that. Yeah, he's a fascinating guy. It's going to be a, uh, a great trip for, for us, I know. I'm really looking forward to spending time with him again. Uh, LC and I went to Norway a few years ago, and uh, enjoyed that trip, and this one will be uh, extra special. He's uh, really looking forward to uh, to coming to Israel. Okay, great. So I'm going to play uh, the last track from the soundtrack for him from Mississippi, which is uh, Rosalie by Elsie Ulmer, and we'll see you next week. Sounds great. Thanks so much. Take care. All right. Bye bye.
Elsie Ulmer, who comes from Mississippi, is 84 years old and still dances on stage. He's going to be here in Israel next week, playing at the Intimid Bar Festival down in the desert at Mitzpah a lovely, lovely place to see anything, let alone a music concert. And that happens on the 22nd and the 23rd of August. You can still buy tickets. You can still go down there. And together with him is Jeff Conkle, who we just interviewed, and he's going to be bringing with him two movies that he produced, one called M from Mississippi, the other is called We Juke Up in Here, and uh, there's going to be special showings of those movies as well, both in uh, down in the Intimate Bar Festival in uh, Mitzpah Ramon and also up in Tel Aviv. So that's something to look forward to. Elsie Ulmer will also be playing on uh, the 26th of August in Jaffa, at the Jaffa Port, at a little place, I think it's called Hangar 4. And you can buy tickets for that also online. If you just look for Elsie Ulmer on Facebook, uh, you'll probably find it. 